Shiver me timbers. Talk like a pirate day this September. Use coupon code PIRATE14 and save 15% off booty at awesomedrakes.com. <clears throat> Arg. Turn down your Pearl Jam! You gotta listen to this! This is a vodka Collins. Derek Should Schomer. be straightforward. Ian Andrews. Yes, remember I said I'm gonna... I, I wanted to keep it simple. Bloody Marys. This just kind of goes against that. I, I was worried because it's just vodka and vodka bothers me. Vodka but does bother you. At the same time... I feel like people might look for this. But at the same time, we my marketing, the table, so we decided to do it. My marketing <laughs> hat was on, and I thought, what do we... Why, what, 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 I'm going to shake and strain, right? Yeah, but you're going to pour it over the ice? Yeah, why not? Because you're going to get an extra dilution if you do that. Okay, well, let's not do that. You, Two ounces vodka, one ounce lemon juice, half ounce simple syrup, half ounce simple syrup, shake and strain into a glass. Was it top of club soda? Probably. Yeah, That's nice how these columns kind of things work. Uh, nothing special about a vodka Collins uh, from, a say, a... a what do you call it? Collins gin Collins or Collins? I think Collins, standard Collins is a gin base, isn't it? Um, but again, I put on my marketing hat and said some people might want to know how to make this. That's probably a good idea. I don't yeah. know yeah, what. Just I'm use doing. this. We need an ounce. I know. Derpy derpy derp. Not a problem. There we go. Derp. If I don't get at least a half ounce out of one side, I'm in some trouble. That means I'm not gonna get a whole ounce. You can bought bad lemons. Yeah, little bitch. Well, you get too much, drink some. Oh, that's gonna happen again? That's no, okay. Oh, yeah, it has vodka in it. I can't drink it. Alright, uh. Radio! Ice me up, Scotty. Oh! No. Too slow. Wait, good enough. Two is good. No, no, three. <laughs> it needs to be extra chill. Conserving the ice, but whatever. I got it. Three more ice cream. No, Ian, we heard last week you like warm drinks. Only buddy Mary's. No, yeah. everything you shake for your boss. Oh, yeah. So well, apparently I'm not making you any more drinks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, complain to the cook, don't get you become food. the cook. Yeah. Oh. Your food gets spitted. <laughs> yeah. Complain I can't do that to the drinks. Complain <laughs> to the cook, and he throws his penis in your chow mein. Mermaid. That I could do. Mermaid, chow mein, chow mein, mermaid. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, it is. I made, I made this myself. Soda stream. Soda stream. A little, I did a little pinch of, uh, uh, what do they call it? Stuff that bubbles things and fizzes them. What? Soda, uh, baking soda. Oh, okay. There's baking soda in there. A little bit. Interesting. For club soda, you should put a pinch of baking soda in and it goes whoosh. I like the look of the simple drinks like this sometimes. Nice and clear and simple. It's not going to look good now. Look at this. Shh. Penetration. Oh, we yeah. have penetration. It's a huge straw. Yeah, deep penetration. There's still oh, some hanging out. It's a bit. You know what? Sometimes it's a big. When That's you have a, a large big straw, shaft. When you have a big straw. Sometimes you can't put it all the way in. That's the thickness. Oh, just, just the tip. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> just to see how it feels. <laughs> That's so wrong. That's lemony. And foggy. Should taste like. It's vodka. refreshing. <laughs> I mean, it's, and it's lemon yeah. and alcohol and a little bit of syrup. Oh, it's in your face. I like it, though. There's, this is something I could drink on a nice day. And there's definitely more lemon than simple syrup. Yes. It's just a sour drink, Jeremy. Um, yeah, but that's good sometimes. It's good if... Uh, I don't mind if you're sour expecting drinks. expecting it. Isn't that the name? What? Collins? It's a vodka Collins, not a oh, vodka okay. sour. I mean, it's, it's the same thing. Throw a vodka sour in a Collins drink. In a Collins glass. Boom. Vodka Collins. Um, that is kind of cool to watch. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it again for you. Oh, really? Oh, you, you, it looks like a little test tube inside. Moving up. Oh, look at that. That's... that's I'm, I'm, I'm betting everybody's loving watching this. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, he's, he's getting... He's trying to see how high he can go. The, That's enough of that. <laughs> Sorry, folks. No one could make that oh, better. Darn. Saint Germain. Oh, Saint Germain. Well, yeah, but then it would be completely right. It would, it would be better. <laughs> Saint Germain would be really no, good at that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's like the last drink. It's kind of the base. The last drink was a little bit more tasty and dynamic than this. Yeah. Because vodka doesn't have a flavor. Nope. So Just what you're alcohol. basically tasting is lemon water. Yep. With booze. Yeah. I I'm not like I'm not like. Dancing? You want, you want to try it before we destroy it? 
because sure, I so think I can give you my opinion of it's eh. of yeah. lemon juice. Yeah, <laughs> you go down that route, and I'm going to give you something. To That's make refreshing, you though. I mean, I could definitely see that being very refreshing. Yeah, yeah, no problem with that. I'm not. I will not. Yeah. Fault you on the refreshingness. I don't know where my. Uh, it's really sour, though. I don't have any cassis or. Uh, I Actually, car- I think caramel? the vodka makes it. Yeah. More sour. I don't like, think so. The vodka does not help. The no. burn. It takes the nice sourness of a lemon that's usually like citrusy and adds the burn and kind of yeah. makes it, it nasty. <laughs> it flattens it out and makes it taste like like a, a, an abrasive. Uh, you usually don't need a lot of this, but a flower water. This is very sour. To balance out the sweets, you're almost going to need an ounce of that in order to get. I don't know, a half ounce of that to get a um, yeah. kick up. But I see it at the bottom. Want to blow in it like bubbles to get it cut off? It'll mix it up. No. I, you, you, well, I thought you could actually do it anyway. I don't know that I did too much to it. No. It's pretty. You know, we'll, we'll that's crazy because Saint Germain is a. Uh, that's a pretty potent flavor too. Was that, was that cardamom? cardamom? Yeah, this is, so these are the new bitters that Fee put out. Those are the ones that we got at the cocktail yeah. conference. Yeah, we got, which was great because... Uh, and I got them in stock now. The, the Fee Brothers guy was there. Yeah, I got to meet Joe. Yeah. And uh, Joe so Fee. Joe just recently put these out. These are like a, a Boker style. So um, it's like uh, it's like Adam's bitters. The difference is dramatic in pricing. Um, I like that. It's good. These, these ones are like... 19, 20 bucks, something like that, maybe more. Yeah. Uh, these ones were like 9.99. And Adam is, that's not to take away from Adam's, yeah, that's much better. Uh, this, this cocktail just needs bitters. Adam, uh, they're coming from the UK, so they're going to be generally more expensive. On top of which, those are like your hardcore craft cocktail style. Ooh, this is, yeah. this is good restaurant grade, because it's nine bucks, good for a restaurant to get. Both of them have the cardamom. Both of them are Boker style. Uh, there's probably a little bit more in that one from a citrus. And this one is glycerin. No, uh, Quasia, right? Quasia bark. Qua- yeah, uh, Casey. I, oh, I remember that. Is it Casey? Cassis? Cass- no. Yeah, maybe that's Cassis. Cassis. There. Yeah. yeah. Cassis is uh, a bitter. That we, we went to a bitters thing at the Tales of the Cocktail. Right. How many bitters did we try? There were oh, there was a uh, lot like 40, of flavors. Yeah, forty or so different flavors of bitters. Our tongues like not were bitter. destroyed at the yeah. end. Of that. Not not bitters like this, but bitter like as in the key as ingredient. In Those are like five bitters. different five different blends of things in there. We mm. tried each of the five. We tried like a titration of aloe, a titration right. of cardamom, a titration of cassis. Uh, yeah, yeah. There was like that. 40 of them. It was ridiculous. Right. But it was really eye-opening. Right. And you, you've and this is the guy that gave the training, Camper, right here. Yeah. sitting next oh, to him. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Somebody <laughs> in the elevator was like, oh, are you Camper? I'm like, no. I am not Camper. But thanks for asking. But, it changed you know, the two guys, glasses, bald. About the same stature. Yep. Yeah, but you don't really look bitters. anything alike. <laughs> no, we don't really look anything really alike, but if there's only one of us there, yeah. I, I, bel- I blame it on the fact that both of us are famous. I'm just more famous. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's why you got recognized as the other guy, because you're more famous. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> yeah. Problem <laughs> solved! I'm sorry. Um, we'll well, that no, that's fine. Uh, I, this drink needs the elderflower. I think it needs to be... Uh, you need a lot of elderflower. Normally, you don't need a lot of elderflower to get the no. elderflower flavor because it's a strong flavor. But this was a strong... It was a strong sour. Sour. So, I think the the bitters or pump up the, the card... I, I think if you pump up the, the elderflower, it turns into an elderflower cocktail. And because there's no other flavor. Because That's yeah, true because... Uh, it's vodka! I get a lot of Gin Collinses with elderflower in them. Elderflower, cucumber. Henry, yeah, because you're bringing all those herbal yeah. blends together. But with the vodka, it, it was all lemon, so. Mm-hmm. And now it's got that. It had. It's not bitter, hmm. but it has that cardamom, like, undertone. That's not yeah. just drinking. And it changed vodka the color of lemon juice, bit, which is kind of cool. Yeah, because those, those are a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, oh, um, I kind of like the color when it was stark white. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. I, yeah. I just wish the flavor was a little bit different. Yeah, it would probably be different if it was fall the way when I put the bitters in because there was a little more volume. But still, it would be as bright white. No, no as it, it would have been. Stark. It would have been a dirty, <laughs> like a dirty, dirty pond vodka water. Collins. Yeah, the dirty pond water vodka Collins. Simple name, really. Pond water. Yeah, Collins. but I would rather have a dirty pond water looking cocktail that tastes better 
than what looks to be lemonade. That's just yeah. it's lemonade without the sugar because the lemonade you need to have that sugar draw and you're right. missing that and you see it and you're like everything screams lemonade but it's got that sour so, lemon and as Jennifer says it's a little bit of a stringency to so it. So that's what the drink really needed. It needed uh, bitters. either less lemon, more syrup, or bitters. <laughs> right, and if you really you just needed a whole new drink. Well, no, if you push no, up the simple balance, syrup by a half ounce. You'll get a better drink, but it's now a two it's... two one one. But now it's a... Right? So, right. Two, two spirit, one sour, one sweet. Yeah. Would it, probably would have worked. Right, because but it would then it would have been a vodka sour. Yeah. I think, because it was sour mix, because one one. Well, it was all right. mixed sour. It was even more sour. I know. Funny thing is, if you make something that's like a vodka sour, whiskey sour, they're actually sweeter. Yeah. Than, they are, yeah. Than you would think, because it's a sour, meaning it has some sour to it. But this, it's not all sour. Right. This is a sour drink. Yes. Different than a sour. Yes. Sour tastes better. But it's a glass. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and there's a glass. So Die. you're 100 percent on target. But keep it classy. So go with bitters. Yeah, go with bitters. That's all you need is I, add bitters. You know what the great thing about bitters is you add a couple drops to drink. You still got a, a whole bottle. <laughs> this thing's last. gonna last you your lifetime. And I shop. have unless you're a bar. And, unless I know, and I've got another one here. Is that that's what? Jaffers. Oh, we that's like right, because we're bubbling. Yeah. And I got six more in the back for and this I, store. No offense, but I'm not going to buy one from you, because I have my own, too. <laughs> well, maybe we need to make so much. We're gonna, I'm going to have to make a drink that uses this that so much, like five drops, that you're going to love it, and then you're going to go home, and you're going to burn through <laughs> I'm just going to burn through it, and I'm going to be like, I need some more. And right, I'm going to be like, here's, okay, $9. It's here's only a question. Right. It, it could be a question of the day, but it I like could be a question that you need to answer now, because oh. the chat room asked. Uh, or was someone... So if you've never had bitters, what would you suggest trying? What would That's you recommend? funny. Because I was when I was going through the today, going through the rum, yeah, and then I was going through the we were like rum or orange. I, Curtis like literally orange, but the orange gin barrel bitters. Well, no, cool. I, I was thinking that what Curtis wanted to do, he couldn't end up coming, but he was like, why don't we just do an entire week of just blind tastings of different things like orange of course, spice rums, bitters. That, I think that would be fun. Right, it, it would be a long night. <laughs> I mean, it took us a while to get through the rums. Right. We you basically had that five times. So yeah. that didn't happen. So next week we could either do the orange liqueurs or the bitters. So maybe the good question would be then, what do you want to see more? Um, I, first, we'll have both. But would you rather see us go through a whole like array of bitters? Because I've got like, bitters. Well, we could do two way. shows. I mean, you could do a drink where you do uh, a product tasting. Then you could do a comparison tasting. Then you right. do your uh, right because now you have drinks instead of five four. different orange bitters. Yeah, you do three drinks instead of four. Then you do your shooter. So you just cut a, cut a cocktail out and you right. you do more review. Because you can also break down and yeah. say here are all the orange bitters, how they taste differently. Yeah, or just generic Definitely. bitters. So there's a lot of different ways. You, you could take, take one drink, divide it up into little cups like that, and put different bitters in it. Uh, that's true. Yeah. So I mean, you could see the just content all over the place. Yeah, I mean, a lot of options that may be coming your way or may not. Right. So well, stay you tuned want either way. Or bitters first. What would you recommend? What yeah. was the yeah, main that's the question of the day. What would you recommend? So what? Okay, and they want to know what I would recommend. Yeah. For bitters said, hmm, for in general. I'll have to try. What do you recommend? Because I've never had bitters, and I was explaining what for bitters were. A good well, general bitter. Well, the, the standard bitter that everybody is knows is Angostura. Angostura bitters are the bitters that I would everybody, say every bar has and every, everybody has bitters What is a good has. neutral bitter? Good with everything. A good with everything bitter would be an aromatic. So, um, like the, uh, the what's not the scrappy. The scrappy. It's the, uh, Where's my, I don't have all oh, my Angostura I'm missing. I'm thinking of the other one that's behind there. It's uh, So, the real the general rule is an orange bitter like Regan's, that's used for gins and vodkas, in this case this. Um, they would always work in this. Scrappy's actually makes a really good aromatic. Peychaud's, that's what I was thinking. Peychaud, yeah, Peychaud is an aromatic. Yeah, there's an aromatic um, for you, Peychaud. Then there's this orange for, that fits into your gins. The Peychaud would work in darker, darker cocktails, uh, whiskeys. You got a Scrappy's out there already? Dark, uh, and yeah. Yeho's, I don't yeah, have Scrappy's Scrappy makes aromatic. a good uh, aromatic. Yep. Scrappy's makes a good aromatics. I think overall, a general overall good aromatics would be Scrappy's aromatics. So for a cheaper one, you could probably Fee link Brothers. in. Didn't you do an episode on bitters at one point? We did we bitters did bitter week. week. Yeah, that was, which and probably I did would kind of cover a little bit of that in the first. Event. So if you channel search for it's bitters, it's Flaritum Sour is the one we did the bitters week. Okay. Flaritum Sour, that but, we covered a lot of it. Channel search for bitters week. You're going to get a lot more information than we can give you right now. Right. But rose, in general, rose water isn't really a bitter, right? Rose water is not a bitter. No, it's, it's a, a, it's just, it's as rose, it's, it's an aromatic. Like yeah, it's yeah. an yeah. aromatic flavor to it, aromatic to the nose. Um, Scrappy's aromatics, if you want to go, they're nineteen ninety nine or something like that, so they're, they're not cheap. Um, I think Fee Brothers, 
Nine bucks? No, Fever House is a little bit more for their aromatics. Maybe twelve. I think it's. Um, they're very cinnamon focused, so you yeah. get it's good for punches and things that require cinnamon. Um, overall, Peychaud has a little bit of a black licorice. Mm -hmm. um, Angostura has a little bit more of a, a tart bitter, almost like yep. these these Bokers. Uh, is that Bokers? That's Bokers, right? Yeah. yeah. And so that would be your aromatic. When you get out of the country, they get a little bit more expensive. Stay cheap, nine ninety nine for fees or the if you go to a bar, it's going to be Angostura, Regan's, and yeah, Peugeot. Those are your three you're going to find. But Regan's and Peugeot are cheap too. Yeah, yeah. They're I mean, cheaper than feet. Depending on the bar you go to, you're going to get a variety. Like if you go to a, a cocktail specialized bar, yeah. you might start getting some of the the, the scrappies. You might the, get them making their own. You might, you might, you might get some of the bitter mints. You're going to see a lot of stuff right. with droppers because they, it's easy. It's in easy New to York area. Droppers, yeah. Especially in New York. When I went on uh, my last cruise, they had a bar on, on the ship um, that was doing. Uh, it was a good cocktail bar. They were making great cocktails, and they were using bitters. Before I knew what bitters were, oh, yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. they're dropping stuff into the drinks. I'm like, oh, yeah, what are they it's doing? like <laughs> weird magic. It's going on cool. here. It's very, very arcane. I like it. Yeah. Uh, Not our, Now we've un, uh, exposed it all. Now you're like, oh, it's just a cocktail. Yeah. No, it's just bitters. Now it's just an old dude with a voice. So now you say. It's like seeing behind the curtain. Yeah. Right. But now what you say That's is when you I see them, the... when they, the Wizard of Oz reference yeah. there. Now, when you see them dropping it, you oh, ask what kind the question, of is that? exactly, what are those bitters? Yeah, what, what's the are brand and what's the taste? Yeah. Did you make them yourself? Oh, what were some of the ingredients in there? They're gonna, it's, they're, there's usually something from there. And if it's homemade, they're going to want to talk about it, because that's that, that's a labor <laughs> of passion. <laughs> that's actually that. true, yeah. So you're like, oh, these are, you know, uh, cassis with quinine this and blah, 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 blah. And you're yeah. like, whoa, holy crap, marks of the tree from the Elderwood of Dark Forest. And you're like, whoa! <laughs> that's where it gets cool. You're like, I don't know if I'm playing Zelda or drinking a cocktail! <laughs> <laughs> left, right, left, right through the forest of maze. If Where's it, the great sword, Master Sword? If in doubt, you're probably drinking a cocktail. But given the <laughs> preference, I'd rather be playing Zelda. <laughs> I'd rather be playing Zelda while drinking the cocktail. There you go. Bo best but of both worlds. Someone from the chat room had a good point too. Is buy a sampler pack. There you go. Yeah. Buy sampler. I have. Don't you have sampler packs? I do. And we've got um, Wiggle. Somebody has suggested I've got a Wiggle sampler pack. What you gonna do over. with that big fat butt? <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. 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 Oh. Um, Wiggles got a sample pack. Bitter Cube is Bitter Cube. Our, one of our better sampler pack sales lately. Scrappy. Uh, Scrappy's has two sampler packs. They have a third one they're Bitter, producing. <laughs> Beware, Bitter Cube is very expensive. Bitter Cube is like $54. Is Dutch's you have a sampler pack? Yep. Dutch's sampler pack yeah. all, sells better than Dutch's any of their single products. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've only moved Dutch's a couple of cool. colonial well, bitters. Boomtown Pro Bitters yeah. and Colonial. These yeah. guys right here, these guys sell constantly. Well, not, they haven't sold lately, but they were selling a lot. Which is funny. I think it's the size, but like the bitter cube ones, you get the pack. It's like fifty bucks, but you're saving three dollars per bottle. Yeah. So if you buy all the bottles, you're paying a lot more than if you just buy that one sample pack right up front. Right. right. And right. I, I don't make as much on it, but whatever. It's, it's a sample. It is what it is. Yeah. Right. So buy your sample packs, and then you can experiment and play scientist. And, and the sample and packs for, will last you a surprisingly long time. That's what time. I was going to say too. Is if yeah. you're just a person no, they, making drinks, they're going to yeah. last. Too I long. think it's experimenting. Yeah. It's like 50 time. drinks or so if you use them in every single drink with like five dashes. Yeah, which is a lot. Yeah. It's going to last you more than your alcohol is going to last. If you're making 50 drinks, that's two bottles. If it was one spirit, that's two bottles of vodka. Yeah. Just about 25 for an ounce of vodka. Yeah. So if you only have one ounce. And drinks. five drops of bitters is a lot of bitters. Yeah, you can so, hurt yourself. Yeah. Put them on your tongue. So. There you go. There you go. Bitters all over the hizzy. What's your favorite pick? Put it in the YouTube comments below. Right, because people buy it from us, so I want to know what you think. Yeah. And then other than that, you want to Market research, bitters. crowdsourcing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Octothorpe, awesome. <laughs> That's it. That's the new thing. It's all Octothorpe. Octothorpe. We're not hashtagging no hashtags. Okay. We'll wait for people to go, what the hell is an Octothorpe? And then they'll, they'll Google, Google it and they'll realize that ah, Octothorpe we're being nerdy. is what a hashtag is called. Right. Damn it. So now you go to Austin Drinks, buy eight, all your bitters. Eight points, Octo. Do you know what that's for? I never actually researched why they call it that. Oh, yeah. Okay, Octothorpe, <laughs> everydaydrinkers.com. Yes. Woo! We're teaching you how to drink!